This is a Lego clone, and this is a Lego droid, and in this video, I buy 100 of the new Lego Star Wars Battle Pack, build a clone and droid army, and create an epic battle with all the minifigures. And I'm also gonna do an epic giveaway at the end of this video. But first, let's go to where it all began. In 2014, I started collecting Lego Star Wars sets, and yes, you may call me a late bloomer, but I'm here now. One of my favorite sets from back then is one you might not expect. While other people love big Lego Star Wars sets, I love the Utapa Clone Trooper Battle Pack, and another set, for which I have a special place in my heart up till this very day. This is the Clone Turbo Tank Micro Fighter. Ever since I got this set, I fell in love with the Phase 2 Clone Trooper minifigure and wanted to build an army of these. I got a couple and focused on buying some other stuff. Now that I'm trying to build the largest LEGO clone army in the world, I need more of these minifigures, since this looks a bit pathetic. So let's buy some on Bricklink. We can do this, guys. Oh, hell no, man. Yeah, that's not gonna work, so now I have to come up with another plan. How can I get these minifigures cheaply. Oh right, I just need to grab this phase one clone body and put on the helmet. Easy. Now all I need to do is buy the helmet. Okay, so this is also not going to work, so I guess I should just pray that LEGO will release a Phase 2 Clone Trooper in the near future. Hey Brickly, LEGO is releasing a new battle pack. What's that? Yeah, go check it. LEGO is releasing a new battle pack. Okay guys, so my biggest wish has come true. LEGO is releasing a new battle pack with Phase 2 plain white Clone Troopers, and I already have my credit card ready to bankrupt me. But wait, it's gonna be released on January the 1st? Huh, so I guess I have to wait the whole month to get these sets, but I can't wait to get it. I I've been waiting years to get more of these clones and really want to build this army. I so wish I could get these sooner. Uh, just try to get the sets early. Hmm, that's a good idea. Maybe I'll do that. Is that the doorbell already? So I got the set early and now we can build this army. I got one of these boxes and inside there are eight battle packs. But wait, I have 12 of these boxes and four separate battle packs, which makes 100 battle packs in total. This is just insane, everyone. So I guess you guys know what time it is. It's unboxing time. Alright, so setting up all of these sets took a long, long time, and my back kinda hurts, and we haven't even opened these sets yet, but look at this view, it's even better than looking at the sunny weather outside. Oh wait, it's dark outside, my bad. So there's a total of 100 battle packs laid against my wall, and now it's unboxing time. So now we need to build all of the clone troopers, and you all know how we do this, right? Well, if you don't know, you grab the battle pack, cut it open, remove the minifigures, and throw away the parts in a bin which will never see the light of day ever again. Just kidding, I built the entire set. And on top of that, the builds of this set are quite cool. We got the speeder and then this tri-droid, which I really like, but I don't understand why LEGO put this inside. But since I'm building a giant battle at the end of this video and these builds look quite epic, I'm gonna build all 100 of them. Yeah, this is gonna take a long time. Okay, but first, let's grab the parts of the minifigures. I mean, this should be easy, right? It's only a hundred times. Let's do this. Okay, so I'm never doing that again. My hands hurt, my back hurts, and I can't even stand normally after sitting down for so long. And look at the mess I've made. There's a pile of boxes and plastic bags spread across the entire room. And what's that in the hallway over there? Okay, so there's basically battle packs across my entire house now, so I have a lot of cleaning up to do. What is this? Well, I guess thank you, Santa. And not to mention that there's this box filled with all the instructions. All right, so we have all the minifigure parts nicely sorted and now we can start building the minifigures. But first, look at how satisfying this is guys. All the minifigure parts laying around like this makes me feel like I'm watching a nature documentary but it's Lego which is 10 times better. Okay, I feel like we need to build the droid army first because the clone army is the best army ever and I want to save the best for last. And I mean, building all of these droids isn't going to be fun since there are so many parts you have to attach for every single droid. I mean, the battle droid exists out of five parts and a super battle droid out of four parts and we have to build 500 droids in total. I don't look forward to this at all but luckily I'm a master lego builder. So let's start building. First I built the super battle droids and now I have 300 of them and a friend built the b1 battle droids and now I can set up the entire droid army and added 100 steps and around 90 of the tri droids because my table is the small for the rest. I decided to build all of the steps in the tri droids to make the army fully complete but it took a lot of time. Friends and family helped 
helped me build all of these sets and it took some serious dedication, but the end result looks fantastic. So now that the droid army is complete, we can move on to my favorite part of this video, which is the clone army. Let's get to building. Here are all the parts and it's so addicting to look at all of these bins. So I grabbed the parts and started by building all of the phase 2 clone troopers and filled 3 base plates with a hundred of these minifigures. They look so clean in army form and I just can't wait to get hundreds more of these for the clone army. Next up, I'm building the shock troopers, so I built them and have a group of 100 shock troopers in my army. And you also might have noticed this clone trooper without a helmet, well there was this piece stuck inside of it and removing it took some time. In total, we've added 400 clones to my clone army, so we're getting closer and closer to the record. So the army is done, and you would think my hands hurt after opening all of these sets and removing the minifigures from the bags. Well, you're right, because I wouldn't recommend doing this to anyone if you want to keep your sanity. The only good thing is that the clone army is finished, and there are so many minifigures here. But wait a second, there's something missing. Oh no, what have I done? I forgot to add the blasters, guys. Oh no. See, I put them in this bin and place it on the other side of the room while cleaning and totally forgot so now we have to add all of them to the minifigures this is going to take such a long time so over the course of what feels like an eternity i added all of the blasters and now the clone army isn't defenseless like in all of my other clone army videos we got one group of 100 of the new shock troopers and finally after years of waiting i got an army of the phase 2 plain white clone troopers this feels unreal everyone i've been living up to this moment for so long that it just feels weird seeing this army in front of me. Now that we're done with building the minifigures, we need to build the speeder and a turret. And yes, I built each a hundred times with help. So I added some speeders in front and there's just so many, it's insane. Additionally, I added more speeders in the back along with all of the turrets and I don't really know why I built this many because I won't be using them anytime soon. And now the army is complete and with that we've built an entire clone and droid army. All of you know what that means right? We can finally build an epic battle with all of these 900 minifigures and vehicles and I'm building a battle because all of these figures come from a battle pack. So let's build. Here's my empty table and I grabbed some great base plates and covered the entire table table and now we can start adding the minifigures. So I grabbed them and we're going to start by setting up the clone army on this side of the table. First I added a bunch of these turrets and some clones defending this perimeter and then I grabbed the rest of my clones and scattered them around the entire battlefield. And then I added around half of all of the speeders I have. There's a clone checking on his wounded friend. There are also some clones marching in formation and even a shock trooper looking through his binoculars. Now that the clone army is ready for war we're going to add the droid army. So I started by adding groups of 25 battle droids and also a big group of super battle droids in front along with a few incoming groups in the back. Additionally, I added the droid steps and all the tri droids and now the battle droid army is complete. So if you get a hundred of these sets, you'll be able to make a battle like this, but I made it in this video so you don't have to do it yourself. After years of waiting for more of these clone troopers, LEGO finally released this goaded set. I just can't believe that after all of these years, we finally have a set with plain phase 2 clone troopers, which means we're going to have to get a lot more. Also, I'm giving one of you a new 2024 battle pack and we'll pick it up from the lego store on january the 1st sign it and send it to you what you have to do to enter the giveaway is subscribe to prickly on youtube follow me on instagram like and comment on this video and most importantly of all join my discord and enter the clone army competition more info in discord and i'll see you in the next video